Yo, what's going on, my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. It's your boy Ted Talk Money, and I have for you another ISO 222 ecosystem coin review. So far, we've taken care of Zenfin, Stellar, Algorand. Next, IOTA, IOTA, IOTA. So let's take a look over here at IOTA. We have right now a $3 billion market cap on IOTA. Okay, over a dollar, which is not bad. We could get a look here. Uh, over the past 24 hours, it's done a little bit of a price action up 9%. Uh, in the past year, though, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Around this time, it looks like you had a lot of liquidity. A lot of folks were buying around this time. But then after that, it seemed to have kind of uh, took a little bit of a dip. Like we call it over here, Opportunity Valley. Get these, get your bags, accumulate, accumulate around this area but what we're going to be going over is iota iota today and how it works itself in to the iso 222 ecosystem so hit that like button hit that subscribe if you haven't done it already and let's get into it so iota it's a pretty futuristic website as we can see here they're all about empowering people into the new digital age um, one of my overall things I've seen here is it's all about IOT with IOTA, Internet of Things. It's about secure data and um, value sharing. So, introduction, open, fear of fieldless data and value transfer protocol. This thing is all about changing the environment, changing how we do things. So, uh, uh, to go f uh, over some of the industries, the social impact, it's about sustainability natural resources i believe this is a carbon negative uh blockchain but also it's all about bringing digital identity in as well uh citizen governance so again internet of things uh, connecting uh phones um cars uh, uh laundry uh, you know what i mean um uh what are those things uh, uh, you know washers and dryers and whatnot so basically uh pre pretty much like i was saying a smart city so from there, they're making sure that we have new possibilities throughout, all throughout a city, okay? Um, urban, urban mobility management. We're going to get off into that even more. But yeah, guys, you can see that this is all big about development and tech. So we're going to take even more of a deep dive into that. So what's up with the technology? What are some of the things about this open source tech that's so great, Okay. Um, the IOTA Foundation provides tools and frameworks to interact and develop on the Tangle. Tangle is IOTA's uh, specific um, consensus and their, their, their specific technology that's great with them. So they have a few different node softwares uh, that are out that we're going to look a few, uh, a little bit more into. Uh, but also uh, we have uh, some of the tools here. This is for some developers. You guys can look into it. And as well, uh, uh, Firefly here. Uh, which is one of their uh, products. So if we look over here, this is the wallet that you're going to most likely use to store all of your IOTA, uh, the Firefly wallet. It replaced the Trinity wallet um, in April. So this is just a new one uh, now that you're going to have to migrate all your old IOTA over to Firefly. But look at the roadmap. Let's look at the roadmap of some of the recent things that they've done um, here in the past year. So if we go down here, some of the updates and goals they have completed uh, for the dev tools, it was the core library allows... Um, uh, 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 the core library abstracts the complexity of the IOTA protocol into simple, unified methods. So the core library is up to date. You have the wallet library up to date. IOTA streams, which allows devices of any size to emit and accept encrypted data streams. That's cool. And then IOTA, in, uh, IOTA identity uh, implicates the proposed standards of DID and verifiable credentials to enable an identity for people, organizations, and things. So basically just your global digital ID as well. Uh, we talked about Firefly, that wallet was updated on August. Uh, B is a node software, we'll talk about that. And uh, as well, I guess, Trinity, which was what tied it all together. So those were the apps that were up to date. And then as well, the protocol got some major updates, which we'll be talking about with Chrysalis. Uh, but some of these smart contracts are going to be updated, which they plan on updating. And as well, uh, co Coordinator, their coordinator. Uh, Hold on. Full full decentralization of the IOTA network by removing the coordinator. This is their future of permissionless and scalable DLT. So we're coming more and more into decentralization with the IOTA network. I'm telling you guys this. A lot of people don't know much about this because it's so tech forward. 
Okay, this this iota, it's being called upon for real-time government infrastructure, as we'll see in the future here. So this was one of the biggest thing I was saying was Chrysalis. This is their new main net. Um, as you can see, they're all about it here, but they called it the day of a new dawn. So what's up with Chrysalis, right? The new Chrysalis network is live. They announced this in April, okay? So we're saying we are over the moon to announce that the Chrysalis network upgrade is officially live. We have entered uh, a new dawn for IOTA with a brand new protocol. Wallet and the suit of libraries are now fully uh, operational. That's what I was saying uh, previously here in the roadmap uh, over here that they're speaking on. Uh, so uh, with Chrysalis, IOTA is becoming production ready and we have a clear path towards our full decentralization with cord Coordicide. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys want to look off into that, basically on the behalf of the entire IOTA Foundation, we want to congratulate our community and team for their outstanding work, suggestions, etc., etc. They're very excited, and I'm excited as well. I mean, the IOTA, the IOTA, the IOTA mainnet in itself already has so much potential, but this is, of course, another upgrade on top of it. Uh, so what are some of the industries, right? What are the industries that IOTA is looking to um, break into? Some of the use cases. Mobility and automotive, all right? They're harnessing the power of connected mobility, like I was saying, Internet of Things. As you have these driverless cars, they have to be able to communicate uh, securely, privately, and feelessly with each other. And they're um, uh, coming out with new uh, platforms, some new innovation. Uh, again, IOTA enables peer-to-peer -peer data and transactions without a central intermediary. They want everything to be connected, borderless, okay? Um, Cars will also be able to make money by selling the data they generate or the power stored in their batteries during periods of high energy demand. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, this is this is awesome. Uh, business applications, digital twins. OK, um, IOTA makes a vehicle's entire life cycle transparent by tracking everything that happens to the vehicle on the Tangle in a record called a digital twin. So the Tangle is it's is IOTA's DLT. It's their um, ledger tech. So yeah, uh, digital twins, connected infrastructure, that's their biggest thing there. So that is awesome. Car wallets with Jaguar and IOTA, they already linked with Jaguar Land Rover uh, to implement a new wallet. So that is a awesome, awesome thing there. As well, uh, global trades with the supply chains. Of course, I'm sure you guys have gone to your local uh, Walmart or Superstore and you see that things are missing. Why? We're redesigning trust in the supply chain. At every point in the supply chain, data must be verified before goods are exchanged. By leveraging IOTA's tamper-proof DLT, trust can be established between actors and data, in data integrity can be guaranteed. So they're basically streamlining the supply chain, which is awesome, efficient, transparent, great stuff. As well, like I was saying with IOT, industrial IOT though, um, you have that pretty much being used in um, automation. Yeah, automation. Um, so yeah, uh, IOTA is uniquely suited for Industry 4.0. 4.0, a platform for trusted exchange of data and secure exchanges of value with low resource requirement and no fees. That's Industry 4.0. So that is also another thing that they're doing, another industry that they're stepping into. Uh, and some so smart cities. Smart cities is another a biggest thing which I think they're going to be used for the ISO 222 is making sure that uh, smart cities have uh, data that can be used and enabled. Human centered design. City infrastructures can provide endless amounts of data and insight. And really, all it is is using your data that you're that you're making that you're connecting with and connects it with everything else. You're building a transparent city. IOTA opens city data silos, giving visibility to residents over how the city is working to improve their quality of life. So yeah, they're working on smart cities, y'all. They're working on smart cities. Yep. So uh, digital identity and uh, custom border management uh, for overseas customs and border patrol and, and whatnot. So yes, IOTA has its hands in that. Tackling societal challenges, uh, one thing here, our commitment to sustainable impact. Uh, the commitment to sustainable impact is embodied in our core technological development. 
Diota Tangle is designed to operate on low-tech devices with minimal energy consumption. So this, their DLT, they want to be able to use it on almost any device with little uh, consumption. IOTA can also be implemented in isolated locations that have limited connectivity. In this way, our technology is available to a greater number of people and with a much lower energy footprint compared to other DLTs. A Bitcoin, a Ethereum. So I saw this too as well, guys. Uh, climate check. Uh, they're you know doing environment and climate change with Canada. Uh, so climate check and IOTA Foundation strengthen their collaboration to increase trust in the environmental data industry. Uh, last year, we successfully demonstrated the potential of IOTA's technology to increase the quality and trustworthiness of climate data. The work in Chile is part of the uh, Recicelo Organizos uh, program supported by ECCC of the uh, Canadian government. The partnership between the IOTA Foundation and Climate Check is being expanded to include a state-of-the-art biodigester project. So they're basically taking all of that climate change data and putting it on the IOTA Tangle, which is great. More and more. So this is for the uh, devs that are watching. This is the research development. This is where the magic goes down, where it really happens. Uh, the research department has several key functions. We'll go over those real quick. Securing the protocol, innovating new development, overseeing academic research collaborations, communicating new concepts to the community, and investigating fundamental DLT questions. Great stuff. So yeah, you guys go over there, check that out. If there's any um, researchers here, check out their research papers and look into their research. So an introduction, now that you guys again have a overall view, we've reviewed it. Let's see what we have going on now in recent news. Okay, so this is an introduction into the business ecosystem of IOTA. Okay, I was telling you about those node softwares earlier understanding the node software so you have the hornet node which is i guess a go uh, uh, iota go full node b node which just recently was updated is the iota rust full node iota rust and then the wasp node is their smart contract chronicle is their perma node okay so these are just all the types of nodes that are going to be used on the tangle uh, a few things here with this uh, diagram on top of uh, see so okay so the the tangle is already permissionless secure immutable open source all that but on top of it is a layer that's scalable feeless hybrid energy efficient it's designed to be used by low power micro and iot devices so yes guys this is going to be the future when it comes down to connecting when it comes down to connecting uh, your cars and your laundry and all of that stuff, it has to be uh, on a certain network, on a certain framework. So a few things here, uh, frameworks, digital identity, tokenized assets, those streams I was saying, um, streams organize data by ordering it in a, un a uniform and interoperable structure. IOTA is how, how any any industry or any player might want to uh, construct personal data, it's possible through IOTA. And that's why they're being positioned, again, in real life time and real life governments to be used. Uh, the IOTA stronghold, uh, and then again, like I said, smart contracts. So yeah, this definitely has a future here, guys. And of course, they were talking more about the Firefly wallet, but this is all futuristic stuff here, guys. Futuristic. So but one thing I wanted to show you guys, of course, uh, they have their uh, their Twitter. We'll go there. Make sure you guys uh, head over there. Just give them a follow. They have a pretty decent dev team. Again, shout out to them because they keep this thing up to date and keeping their community um, up to date. But look at this. Look at this, guys. This is one thing I wanted to show you all. Um, the EBSI, the, Euro, uh, the EU basically have commissioned um, IOTA to build its blockchain infrastructure. Let's look into it. So the IOTA Foundation has been selected as one of the seven projects from 30 plus apps to participate in the first phase of the EU blockchain pre-commercial procurement process. So basically the EU is going to have its blockchain infrastructure and they're, and they're partnered with the IOTA Foundation. This aim to design new DLT solutions to improve the scalability, energy efficiency, and security 
of the EBSI or the EU, basically the European Blockchain Service Infrastructure, a network of blockchain nodes across Europe. If selected for the next phase, IOTA could be one of the technologies that will be developed and tested with, with core European services. So they're already linking them together with all the uh, high names that are going to be in Europe. All the innovative tech they're going to partner them with. If you're in the EU, pretty much your blockchain infrastructure is going to be affected by IOTA in some sort of way. Also, I was saying with um, uh, mobility and transportation, Orchestra Consortium and IOTA, the future of transportation infrastructure. Just a brief thing on here. The IOTA Foundation is working with international partners on the EU-funded Orchestra Project. This goes even more with what I was saying with the EU, um, uh, uh, EU collaboration. Uh, the project aims to innovate the future of multimodal transport. The IOTA Foundation will receive a share of 250,000 euros of the 4.9 million euro budget to provide expertise for integrating its DLT. Basically, um, as you can see here, it's making sure that those the traffic uh, with uh, driverless cars and whatnot can be able to uh, collect data and it won't be separate. It'll all be on the same net. We're all uh, verifying the same things, the same transactions, so everything will be safe. So that's another innovative tool there. Lastly, I want to show you guys IOTA 2.0 is already in the works. Uh, they're already right now looking to um, start its test net. Uh, we, it says, we provide a detailed overview of the current state and next steps of the IL 2.0. Uh, next, step, next steps involve implementation of active defenses and usability features such as local snapshots. Uh, the release of the DevNet of 2.0 marked one of the most important milestones in the IOTA Foundation history. For the very first time, we were not only able to demonstrate the ideas behind IOTA 2.0 in a real, fully decentralized way and coordinator-free network, but we were also able to study the interaction of the different components. So again, just the future there. There is a future in this, in this token. As you guys can see, when it comes down to smart cities, but again... The most important thing we really want to show you guys is that it is a part of an infrastructure. This whole thing is all tied together and is preparing the way for innovation. Okay, But again, all of these things, are they're working together. Don't think for a second that uh, Stellar and Ripple are like enemies or something. No. All of this is going on behind the scenes. A lot is happening that we do not know about. They are structuring this thing that we can become. Uh, they're structuring it so we can become rich. Okay, <laughs> But really, those, those that are in the know, and I mean I'm talking about the banks and Wall Street, they're stacking up. They're accumulating all of these coins. If you really look at it, the, the price action for all of these tokens has been suppressed so that the major players, the infrastructures, the financial institutions, they could be positioned very well. So at the end of the collapse of the old system, we're already ahead in the new. Okay. So at Live Capital, we just want to make sure that you guys understand the ISO 222 ecosystem is real, that it's becoming into effect, and that there is more to be known in it. But guys, I appreciate you guys coming around. Hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. This isn't financial advice. I'm a digital asset investor, not an investment advisor. But look, guys, continue to have an awesome day. And remember, life is for the taking. Peace. Peace.